Keanu Reeves is killing it in 2020. In a year that's been far less than excellent for most of the world, the beloved veteran actor has gifted us the third Bill & Ted movie, Bill & Ted Face the Music. He's shared exciting news about the fourth Matrix film, which Keanu says is, quote, ambitious, and has continued to be the internet's favorite wholesome movie star. Basically, we'll take all the Keanu we can get. Thanks. On top of all that, Keanu is getting some major attention for an older thriller of his that's now dominating Netflix. Written and directed by Eli Roth, the film in question is Knock Knock. Released in 2015, the movie didn't wow critics when it touched down in theaters, but things have totally changed for the overlooked thriller, which is currently burning up the charts on everyone's go-to streaming platform. As of November 5, 2020, just a few days after Knock Knock was added to Netflix's library, it's the service's most popular movie in the U.S. In the film, Reeves plays a happily married architect named Evan Weber. It's Father's Day weekend, and Evan has the house all to himself for the holiday. Loose ends at work and an important physical therapy appointment keep him at home, while his wife Karen and their kids head to the beach for a family vacation. Evan has a few tasks to keep him occupied and his dog Monkey to keep him company. However, what would have been a relatively uneventful weekend takes a dark turn when two young women knock on Evan's front door. Genesis and Belle, played by Lorenza Izo and Ana de Armas, claim they're lost and looking for a get-together in the neighborhood. Evan invites him inside so they can hop on his computer and try to get in touch with the host of the party. Not everyone would just let two total strangers into their house these days. Well, you don't look that dangerous. When the driver meant to pick up Genesis and Belle arrives, the women sneak off into a bathroom inside Evan's home, clearly planning to stay at his place for a while. Evan makes an attempt to kick the women out, but they begin seducing him. That's when things go seriously off the rails and Evan realizes that he's living through a nightmare. If the basic premise of Knock Knock sounds familiar, it's because the feature is a modern adaptation of the 1977 film Death Game. Similar to its remake, Death Game stumbled at the box office and received poor reviews from critics, but over the years, it's acquired a growing fan base. That includes Knock Knock director Roth, who revealed to Collider in August 2015 that he wanted to do an updated version of a 70s erotic thriller. He first looked to similar films from other directors, but when he came across Death Game, it was too good to resist. Roth further explained to Collider, I really wanted to do a film like a modern fatal attraction that felt like something that was a tense psychosexual thriller, like the old films that Roman Polanski used to make, or Paul Verhoeven. But we just felt the story and the setup were so good that we could do an amazing update of it. At the time of Knock Knock's release on October 2015, critics knocked it down as repetitive and campy. But now, five years later, it seems that plenty of Netflix subscribers are hungry for a good distraction and are drawn to Knock Knock for just how over the top it is. But you lied to me! I'm trying to help you! I let you in! I was a good guy! I'm a good father! At the end of the day, there are plenty of reasons why Knock Knock is currently the most popular movie on Netflix in America. The streaming success should come as no surprise to fans of Reeves, who managed to snag a summer hit with Bill & Ted Face the Music and who is bound to break the box office with upcoming sequels to John Wick and The Matrix in production. Reeves' Knock Knock co-stars have also scored major box office wins in recent years, with Izzo playing Leonardo DiCaprio's Italian starlet wife in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and De Armas starring as the key suspect in Knives Out. Even though 2020 has been a stressful year, at least with Knock Knock, we have a little more Keanu to keep his company. It's, it's a what? date movie. It is a date movie. Yeah, it's like, it's a date movie. Bring two like, of your girlfriends to see this no, movie. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about movies to stream on Netflix are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.